Wait, did he just beat them? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Safe Reacts. My name is Casper Fox. I've been a brand manager and musician for around six, seven years. Uh, today we are back with Heather's. Now, couple of questions. Yo, where's his beard? I ended <clears throat> up shaving this morning, so I cut it off. It'll be back for next video. Don't worry, it's nothing big. Just a little bit of a baby face today. That's number one. Number two, um, it's been a while since I recorded anything because I actually have been I've been super sick. <laughs> For the past like two and a half weeks during Thunder Saga, I was also just like dying. I was coughing all the time. <laughs> I mean, I've had like a really high fever, but uh, I'm back in business. We're back. I'm still coughing a little bit. Probably will be visible uh, during this video, but you know, we ball, we ball. Uh, today we are back with uh, Fight For Me. Uh, and per usual, as you saw in Candy Store last time, uh, Kiro and Volran have been so nice to include these in-between kind of talk scenes so that, uh, I get to see, like, what's happening, well, between the scenes. So, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, there's not really much happening. I do want to say that, uh, if you haven't checked out Open Arms Reactions already, please do so. There is a link in the description. Mordius and I are already out for a strong start. I don't actually think there are any videos on it when this goes live, which is next week. I'm recording this on the 8th of July. So no, there's no videos on it just yet, but there will be. August is when we officially launch. So go over there and be one of the first. We're so close to hitting uh, the first goal, which is monetization. Uh, 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers. We are obviously way over the subscriber limit, or limit the subscriber requirement, but we are just just getting there for the 4K. So hopefully we've already hit it by the time this goes out, but if not, go check out Open Arms Reactions. We're so excited for it. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping and uh, let's get into it. Clearly, you've got a soul. You just gotta work harder on keeping it clean. Well, more and marks for equal. Um, okay, don't just go boomer at me in the walkway, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Who's that guy in the jacket you think he is anyway? Go Dilly. <laughs> Veronica's into his axe, no doubt. Let's kick his ass! No, we're seniors, man. We're too old for that shit. Hey, sweetheart! What's your boyfriend say when you told him you were moving to Sherwood, Ohio? <laughs> My buddy Kurt just asked you a question. Hey, Graham, doesn't the cafeteria have a no fags allowed rule? Seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though. <laughs> Hold his arms. Okay. So leading up to it, they're holding this, which I assume is the trench coat guy. Um, the guy who, you know, I kind of compared to a school shooter, like visually. Um, but all right. So this leads straight into fight for me. And this animatic is not uh, our usual. This is Blue Tala. Who has made this one the first couple ones were by this person here i am so sorry i forgot the name i'm so bad with names i still forgot what all the heathers are called doesn't the cafeteria have a no fags allowed rule seem to have an open door policy for assholes though <laughs> <laughs> hold his arm Wait, did he just beat them? Did he just 1v3? Wait. Nice. Okay. And we already have the, the vocals. And then the piano actually starts harmonizing. With... So we have in the piano. Pretty cool. And he's just 1v3ing this like full on. You guys remember Captain America in that elevator? There's no way his book blocked a punch, bro. This is because uh, knowledge is above strength, guys. That's why he did it. Boom. Get f Why, when you see boys fight, does it look so horrible yet? You're so right. I shouldn't watch this crap. That's not who I am. But with this kid. Damn. Okay. So she's just, she's like singing, but but I, I guess in Heather's they don't want to do talking. So she is 
singing and talking on this one. On this note, so she's just talking, she's talking in harmony, I guess, or whatever. Okay, let's see what she actually says. There's there are no subtitles on this. I'm sorry, so I can't really. Right. I shouldn't watch this crap. That's not who I am. But with this kid, damn. Nice head voice break. Damn. So Ooh. might you be <coughs> And could you fight for me And hey Could you face the crowd Could you be seen with me And still act proud Hey Could you hold my hand And could you carry me Through no man's land It's okay. chill, chill, chill. So she falls in love with this trench coat guy. I assume this is a trench coat guy. If it's not, because that's what the, the lyrics said. Or like the, the description of him in a trench coat. So I assume this is the trench coat guy we've been seeing in the first couple of dynamics. Make sure to let me know if that is wrong. Okay? That's not him. Then there you go. Also, I'm wearing Casper Fox merch. If you guys want some, you can grab some. There's a link in the description as well. This is you, Casper Fox. Casper Fox. Pretty cool, right? Because Ghost and Fox. I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. So, okay. So we got a trench coat guy. So she is falling in love with the trench coat guy. It's proud. Hey, could you hold my hand? And could you carry Next, okay, so she's falling in love with the trench coat. This song, this next song is going to be about them falling in love or something like that and then just killing everyone. Yep. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Of the choir. I don't care how far you can set my broken bones and I know CPR. Well, whoa, you can. Okay, so now we're back to this. So, E piano, which is what you hear here, like this, this instrumental here. If we, if we, if we go back a little bit. No. These kind of like flowy chords, that's an electronic piano, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice instrument choice. Not something I think we've heard before in this musical so far, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I love it. it, it it's very, it's like, um, in a positive way, it is a very cheesy instrument. It's used in a lot of like 80s love ballads and stuff like that. Like it's a very romantic instrument, if that makes sense, right? And if this is a love song, that makes sense. Fight for me. It's fine. So I think it, it feels like Veronica is actually realizing that she doesn't want to be a Heather after all. And she knows that she'll need someone to fight for her once that she is like expelled from the from the Apex Predator group there, right? Which is not great. But I would fight for you if you would fight for me. Okay, and listen to this drum fill here again. We're 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 not at the da 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 this like which I call, which I've uh, named the Heather's fill, which is this guy just going ham on the snare drum like just da 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 da. But here, listen to this kind of smooth fill here, like a little softer. Like a dum 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 ga. Pretty cool. We have this like nice choir element to it, you know. You can set my broken bones and I know CPR. Well, and then ding, we're back to reality. Whoa, you can punch real good. You've lasted longer than I thought you <laughs> He's just headbutting him. Shit, 
damn. Okay, so he won me threes, these boys. That's very satisfying. I wonder what that looks like on stage. Like how they felt. Okay, cool. So he kind of won me two, won me threes, this guy. Oh, I guess it's just two. There was a green and a red guy. Sorry, it's just because they, they usually travel in packs of three, these high school people. Okay, let's dive a, dip, a bit deeper into the instru instrumentals here. Horrible yet. You're so right. Here, this talking piece is very interesting. Because there's always Heather's... <coughs> excuse me. Um, Heather's, uh, musical-wise, they always have, like, a huge, like, brass lead-up. And that's been the case for everything so far. They've had a lead-up to to uh, to something before. But, like, the intro is always instrumentals. There's no vocals. Holy shit, holy and then shit. here b begins to vocal, like, with a... Holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. And then all just fall doo -doo 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 to like down to break it all down. Then suspense strings here. Why, when you see boys fight, does it look so horrible yet? You're so right. And again, dum dum dum. This piano movement going down the octave, like we've seen in well every single musical that I have seen so far. So if you guys didn't know, I've never actually finished a musical. Epic was my first musical. Uh, well, if we count, if we don't count Disney, obviously. Um, like musical musicals, like uh, Epic, Hamilton, stuff like that, Heather's now. Uh, I I've never finished them because Epic isn't done. Like, it's not released. Hamilton, we're not even, like, through Act 1. And Heather's, this is, like, the third song. So, yeah. Uh, so far, this, like, moving down the octave, like, this descending uh, chord progression, very common, especially in, in Heather's here. Right. I shouldn't watch this crap. That's not who I am. Wait, what does that text say? Damn, I forgot. Her watch in the other frame. That's okay. Not a huge detail. I, I forgive you, Blue Tala. Your art style is really cute. Could you be seen with me and still act proud? Hey, could you hold my hand? And, could and we go over to can... we go over to eighth notes, and I think that's a cross tick again in the in the piano in the in the piano in the drums. You can... It's kind of, it's kind of like uh, a little swingy. Um, so if you hear, and I, I think I've explained this a lot of times, cross stick. So instead of seeing like that, like that bang, you know, he has cross stick. Now us beatboxers, we like to replicate that if it's a snare hit, which is the little drum, we say this is called a P snare. And then if you have a cross stick, like a laying down, it's a K snare. Right. So that's what's happening here as well. And I, um, if you guys have watched my has been or ace for um, the one that actually released last week for Dad Beat Dad, um, I talked about how changing the pronunciation of me, like me or May, uh, and how it like, uh, I'm not, you know what, I'm going to just say it again because there's a big chance that Heather's people are not the same fans of has been people. So when you have the word me, you actually have the option to change it to either me or may. Now here, Veronica, uh, Veronica's um, vocalist, I'm not sure who voices her, but very beautiful me. And that's because here it's not really needed to be powerful, right? So they've opted to go for the me because here this kind of like closed sound is, uh, is, uh, is fitting. Because it, it's not a powerful note or anything. It's just this like ringing out softly. Uh, not very... Yeah, not very vibrato rich until the end of the note, which is very common for Broadway so far. Um, so so that's nice. So, so they didn't change it to May, probably because it is such a soft note here. Um, and they didn't change it throughout the entire song, but that's also because like I wonder if, if there had been like a really high fight for May. Wasn't there one at the end? Let me just quickly change tick that. Yeah. So you can hear here, this is a, a, a quite more powerful, but you can also just hear how sharp that sound is, right? It's just on like this. It's, it's right there, right? Very powerful. That's a difficult note to hit uh, on such a closed vowel, right? So that's why people will tend to go for a may because it, you can open the sound more. Okay, 
Okay, and here we have two sus two suspicious individuals. No, I was gonna say two uh, spectators. That wait, that was a whistle. That could be the coach. Is that the coach? Is he just watching? That kind of looks like Professor Kukui from uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. There's a picture. Okay, interesting with how he he has the shape of water, almost like that. He he like kind of changes, which I, I think is like because Veronica is kind of singing about how she wants him to be, which is apparent, like which is like she's kind of shaping him in her imagination, right? Which is like beautifully visualized here. And then this, ding, we're back to reality. You can punch real good. You've lasted longer than I thought you would. So hey, Mr. No Name Kid, if some What does he say? I suck at punching, man. I swear to God. I swear to effing God. Kid, if some night you're <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought he was gonna do the Homelander where he like just like makes him deaf. <laughs> Wanna fight for me? Holy shit. That's a weird no. Wanna fight for me? If you're still Holy fight for me. me. That sounds like it's the sus four again. Holy again. Shit. Remember in Candy Store, they didn't want to resolve that sus four. Here it is again in the in the lead vocal. If you're still alive, but I would fight for you. It's again, we're still out. We're not quite home yet. So visually, he smiles at her. Okay, me. Nice. Okay. So far, just to sum up with the Heathers, we met Veronica and Martha, the three jocks, and the three Heathers, obviously, and then trench coat guy, which I assume is this guy who just beat up two of the jocks. Um, Veronica is kind of like getting her foot in the door with the Heathers, but is also, you know, being warned, like step into my candy store, or, you know, basically pick <clears throat> off. Um, and then now the jocks tried to f <clears throat> with the trench coat guy and he gave them a serve. God damn, bro. F <clears throat> them up. That was great. That was really satisfying. Anyways, um, if you've been enjoying the content that I've been putting out, then you can support me big time. Uh, just like all these lovely names over here over on Patreon, you can support my dream of becoming a full time content creator. Um, it's within reach. Uh, just because you guys have been uh, accepting me into the musical uh, fandom so much. Uh, we got so much more lined up. O Open Arms Reactions is, you know, lining up. Epic is now releasing more and more. It's so, so, so great. Uh, it is like 30 degrees Celsius. Adam put that in Fahrenheit right here in my room. So that's why I'm taking my glasses off because it is so very warm. Uh, <laughs> so they're kind of oh, fucking up with the G. You don't have to blur that, Adam. But yeah, uh, I want to say thank you so much to both the names here and for you for watching. Uh, if there's something that I miss or something I should, I should know or some detail that you want me to know about the Heathers or anything, a musical I should check out, anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, also, if you guys don't mind... Uh, I actually also post a bunch over both on Instagram uh, and, well, not as much TikTok, but if you want to, you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All the links are in the description as well. You can pretty much find me on any social media that exists, except for threats. Like, Instagram threats, that, that <clears throat> is trash. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Go subscribe to Open Arms Reactions. Join me on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. It makes a whole world of difference for my dream of becoming a full-time content creator. But uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you have a phenomenal day or night, wherever you are, and uh, take care.